And today I'm gonna tell you what's the difference in between a tag and a commit, and I'll give you a quick example with GitHub Actions on how to create releases, tags, and have control of the versioning of your package or of your application. So let's ask uh, Jim Nye from Google, what's the difference in between a tag and a commit? So basically a commit represents a single change of a project file. It's created like having a snapshot and then you can have a history of the chains as you commit and make chains on your file. A tag is nothing more than pointing to a specific commit. Usually uh, you can use tags for releases because you wanted to be happy at certain points on your code and then you can then release that tag as well as you can revert back to a version or you can install a particular version of your application and then you use tags for that that's the probably the good use case a commit shows the history on a branch that you are working a branch is something that's mutable but commits are like milestones if you like on your branch so let's give an example and then that will completely make sense so first let's create a directory then let's get into that directory and open VS Code. So here in VS Code, I'm just gonna create a Python file. Let's say it's a very simple one. I'll call it version. Let's say I'm developing my application and it's gonna be a very simple code, version 0.0.1. So at the moment, I'm not controlling the Git so to control git you have to initiate git so you do git init so now i have my git initiated but if i do a git log i don't have any commits so let's see I, as a default i have the master branch that's the first commit it's not a git course but i do have a git basics that i can point uh, to a video but you, I'm assuming that you already know git and then you just wanted to understand a little bit more about tags and commits so let's create a first commit let's first add all the files to the commit in the case I only have one and then I'm just gonna go git commit info message call first commit now if I do a git log it's gonna say that I have this unique hash here that says that the head is the master or the head is like the the close it's like the, the last commit that's um, of that branch so that's the head and the head's pointing to the master branch okay the head of the master branch is this commit and that's the message, that's the date, and that's the author, which is me. All right, let's now um, say that I am uh, developing. So I'm going to create a new branch called uh, the dev. So now I'm just in dev branch, and then with this branch, I can do some development. And then I'm not going to work with feature branches to just to simplify the, the, the example here, all right? So first, let's create like a Git repository. And then I'm just going to call Git tag demo. Myself. And the owner is myself. Um, I'll make it public later. So let's add the remote. And um, I, have, I already have a branch. Just gonna push the master branch. If I go here, I have the dev only. We found the Python. And I want also to push the, the master. 
you can I must have now two branches here. I have the dev and I have the master, right? So they are exactly the same. Yeah, they have no differences. Cool. Let's go to dev. And do some development here. So I want to create like a, a CI CD in GitHub. For that, I'll create like a GitHub folder. And a workflows folder. So I have a file called release. Oops, not a folder, a file called release. YAML and I'm just gonna copy and paste to make life easier and I'll explain what's gonna do. So so this workflow are going to be triggered on all push so anything that I push 20 branch and then I have a job called check version which is gonna use the Ubuntu latest and that's going to be triggered if I push to dev or master or any tag is pushed to the, to the branch. That's going to check out and print the version, that version here. And, and then it create like a release tag for that repository. So to create a release tag, it only creates the release tag if I push a tag and it's going to check out just to have something here, I'm going to print the version again. I uh, use the GitHub token to uh, have access to. Uh, you don't need to know this. This is just like using the GitHub token. And the release name is going to be uh, the ref, which is going to be, in this case, the tag, because that's only going to be triggered by it. If it's a tag push, to that a ref and then it's going to run this deep repository to this command here the uh, github command line that's going to be create this release tag release name with that name of the tag and put the title and generate notes which is something automatic you don't need to know the details about it all right let's do this then so let's say i want to uh, push this to my uh, dev. Let's say that I have some kind of like CI CD that push that to my dev environment where I can dev and then test. Let's say I have like a dev and test. And then once I'm happy, I can then merge to main. And then once it's merged to main, I can release that code or create a release tag by just creating a tag on that commit and then push the tag to the repository and that's going to create my release. Let's do that exactly what I said and then you can understand the flow. So first, so let's say that I'm going to do some development here. Like I'm going to now have another version. So I'm happy with this development and all the tests are passing on my local version. And I'm just wanted to push that to uh, remote. So what I do here, I just then do a git add to add all the files that I've changed. And I do a git commit. I can either put the message here uh, or I can put, press enter use my editor. As in my case here, I'm just put it in the editor, in the command line, not in the editor. And then I'll put uh, 0 0.0.2. That's the message, and then I'm just gonna git uh, push, and that's gonna be pushed to my remote. Um, let's see if that triggered the action. Yeah, that's triggered the action. So uh, it's gonna just check the version. So a version, this just slide to show something. And this one, it didn't run because if there's a condition that release push only happens when I push attack. So let's do the merge to 
uh, to the main branch using a pull request and you pull request dev to master yeah it's able to merge so that's what changed I'm changing the version and I'm adding the uh, CI CD pipeline release so let's create a pull request looks good to me create a pull request and I'm just gonna merge the pull request go for merge now those chains will be merged to main and that's gonna trigger again my CI CD and still I'm not going to uh, release the tag because this is not a tag, this is just a normal branch. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna sync my local to my remote, doing a git pull uh, to dev, which is exactly the same. It's already updated. But my master, if I do a git uh, checkout, master that's going to be still the old version but i've merged in the remote i do a git pull and that's going to be updated to the new version and i also have my release here pipeline now if i do a git log it says that my head now is in master with this pull request merged. Now let's create a tag. To create a tag, finally, is git tag. Let's do the version 0 0.2, which is that version here. And then that cache tag is pushed. Now, if I do a git tag, it shows that now I have tag. And if I do a git log now, it sees that that commit has got a tag. So which means that the tag is pointing to that commit. So to finalize, I just do a git push origin, which is my remote repository, and then I push the tag. 0 0.0.2 0 .2. and that's going to be pushed to my repository to my remote, remote repository and then that's going to trigger my CI but now that's going to do step 1 and step 2 can you see here let's go back here can you see that this is triggered because you pushed attack so let's go to the actions. Now it's creating a release. Create it. So can you see here? Create the release uh, tag v002. If I go back to my code, I can see that I have one tag. That's been pushed with all the artifacts. And I also have a release with my nodes, what's the contributor, uh, the assets. And that's, I think, it's all for today. So I'm going to put the uh, this repository. I'll make it uh, public and make sure that you can see. So. If you have any questions, uh, you can put on the comments below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, click the bell, and like the video. See you next time, and thanks for watching.